Good morning, happy Friday. All right, so this is take four of my video. Let's see, here's six inches. I'm marking the middle of this. I am making a Mother's Day card for my mom. I'm gonna go halfway down that mark. Um, this is a real simple, fun way to make cards. And I'll show you, let's see, I'll show you the other two that I ended up with. I didn't wanna go all the way in with um, this line because it leaves a little bit less painting space. So I'm doing the line about halfway with my tape, but I do like, um, I really like the border around around the, um, the card. So let's do that. And then you make sure all the edges are pushed down because you're gonna fold the card right here. So it's gonna be a pretty even border around there. I'm using my Daniel Smith paints and my, um, that's not the brush I was using, Etcher. I've got a number five round velvet touch. I like those because they're, they're not as floppy as the, the Neptunes, but, um, Let's see, and then a 10 round heritage. It just, I like it a little bit better. You can use whatever brush you like. These Neptunes are floppy and they hold a lot of water and they have their purpose, but I'm not crazy about the way they work for this. So here's the one I made that the tape bleeped out. My, my iPhone keeps shutting off. Here's another one. We're gonna do this one more time and hope that I make it to the end of the uh, video because I want to demonstrate the whole thing. So this is just a very simple, um, simple abstract card. And it's nice, like none of them, oh, I forgot to do the middle. The middle, the middle. And what I did is I cut this so that it's straight. I did want, didn't want it to be all zigzaggy in the middle because I wanna go around this whole thing with flowers. Let's see. Let me cut this other end. Oop. Maybe move it around, make sure it's somewhat near the middle. Let's see. Yeah. It's a little bit. Eh. You know what? I'm going to live with it. It's gonna be there. And let's try this again. All right, I get a very light, let me make sure I've got the edges down on here so that it doesn't, um, now I'm just going in with a very light pink and it is kind of wet on, you know, wet on dry. I did not wet this beforehand, um, it kind of tends to these blocks. This is a, these are on sale by the way, Blick cold press watercolor blocks. I got this for like $21 at Blick yesterday is usually 32. They have 40 and 50% off on a lot of their papers and a lot of their um, watercolor paints. So, if you, I don't know if you order online or if you have a store near you, you should go in because it's really a good sale and it goes through the 21st of this month. It started March 21st and it goes uh, through April 21st. I asked at the store. Now you might wanna verify that, but um, so now we're just kind of floating around with these beautiful pink, I don't wanna think too much, blobs. And I like to put some little light pink in here. There we go. And I do like to do a little darker around the middle where the Happy Mother's Day is going to go. Um, you know, I was gonna mess with this shape. If you don't like the shape of something, you can fix it. But when the colors run, they kind of turn it into, um, of form other shapes so I try not to 
mess with it too much. And I'm going to fill in in certain areas where um, with leaves. So let's see, maybe I'll do the corners a little darker, put a little color in this corner and a little lighter color. There we go. This I'd like to move around a bit. Kind of a short, fat little flower, but I'm gonna leave it. And then I am gonna add, I love this Cad Yellow Deep. All right, so um, you can also go in and kind of pull color out if it's looking like it's globbing and you don't like. I like all of this. I like the way the color's traveling around in here. I like the mix of the lights and darks. This is bugging me a little, but you know what? Sometimes if you just like wet it, kind of pull it out there, that's enough to... I kind of like that and kind of let those blend in together a bit. Now, um, I'm going to leave some of these. Now, maybe I'll add a little bit of maybe a little, little more pink in here. I don't know, a little bit of pink in here. I don't want those looking so flat with no color in them. Let's add little dark bit there, maybe darken it there, a little more dark here, there. The, this pink and yellow mix together so nicely. Um, and maybe this one I sucked out a lot of the pink, I'll add a little more pink there, good. All right, and now, you know what, I'm gonna do a, a center drop here let that kind of run out into that. I lost my yellow in there. I just love this color combination, so it doesn't hurt to kind of go back in. And I'm gonna leave that. That's kind of turning a little orange there. I will drop it in each of these. There we go. And they're each gonna make their own unique shape. Now I wanna go in with my Princeton this is a Neptune, but I use it for the stems. And so these do hold a lot of water and you can make really long lines with these. I also like to go in when this is wet and have the green bleed in to some of the flower. It does this beautiful, beautiful shape. There we go. And you can have the stems. I like the stems going in all the directions. Coming out from the middle, add, and also kind of just flowing off the page. You can do them any, any direction you want. Now I wanna do, this is a little, I wonder if I should put more flower there, or maybe I'll just do a big leaf. I just, at this point, I want to do these nice flowy lines. Uh, let's see. I want to go this way too. There we go. And I like to do a little zigzag. Just adds a nice kind of. I like. Oh, I like the way that um, went into the flowers. Um, Really, look how pretty that looks. You can even go back in and drop a little more green if you want it to look. There we go. A little more green in here. Let's see, boop. I love, I love the way that gives that little pattern in there. Um, now, what I'm gonna do is come in with my Princeton Velvet Touch, and I'm gonna go with the same green. I 
and I want these just to be little, cute little, add some cute little leaves. And they don't, you'll get enough um, color variety in just going darker and lighter with this green. You can, you can come in super light like this. And, boop, gonna kind of, you can shape them if you want. I, I like to have them kind of in different, um, different directions, different shapes. You don't have to be too fussy. It's more just adding, now this is, real dark on here. I kinda, well, maybe I'll leave it. It's kind of a nice, this one I think I'll just, no, I was gonna pull some of the green out, but I think I'm gonna actually do some little leaves coming out here. It looks like it's in a weird little position. Do some leaves coming out of some of the flowers. Let's see, we'll do one coming this way, coming that way. This corner looks a little sad. Put a little leaf coming out there. There, maybe another one here, just going off the page. All right, one coming in. Let's see. I like that. I hope you like it. And if you're following along, I'm actually thinking of starting a Facebook page because I have so many people who say they try this out and they love it. And then I don't get to see their finished product. And um, so let me know in the comments if you're interested in posting your stuff on a private. I know people can be brutal on Facebook in regards to art groups. And so I wanted to start a friendly group of painters to inspire each other and to, to share the, the paintings that you're all doing because I would really love to see them. Okay, so, you know, I think I have my pens here that I use. But I don't think I'm going to use them in here except to, to do the, um, they're the Pilot G Tech 9 that kind of run in with the paints. But I'm really happy with the kind of simplicity of this. So let's, ooh, nice edge on that. I'm very happy with that. And we're gonna peel the middle. It's still a little wet, so I'm being careful. But, oh, I like it. Um, now, as you all know, because I talk about it repeatedly, I have trigger thumb. So I'm gonna write this with a pencil. My thumb doesn't bend properly. I'm going to write it first. It's a good idea to write it with a pencil anyways, so that you know you're not going to run out of room. You know, I might do, I might do cursive. Happy. And I just do it really lightly to make sure, and I do it very as light as I can. Happy. That should have been a capital. Mother's I just want to make sure I don't run off the page or go. Too far. Okay. Oh, nice. I did it. That's perfectly, perfectly centered. Now I'm going to use my orange, which, okay, get my thumb in place. Now I'm going to be a little more careful. I'm trying to not get my head in there, which I think I just did. Happy. You can go through and erase this afterwards, but I just want to make sure my letters were in the right spot. Happy. Ah, See what I did with my hand there? I smudged it, but I'm gonna leave it. I can show you how you can kind of 
scrub it out a little bit. Mothers. Day. There. Okay, now, if you've messed this up like I did, you should use clean water, and you can actually just kind of, boy, I got such a perfect line there. That bums me out a little. Take this, you can go over it with white watercolor, or you can just kind of scrub it a little bit and let it sit there. You can dab it, dab it. You can also go over it with, I've got this Dr. P.H. Martin's Bleed Proof White. So you can just gently dab over that to kind of fix it. I hate it when you have a you know a piece that you're real happy with, but this is my third take today. Now, since I have this out, I can, if I want to, do a few little dots in here. Maybe it was meant to be getting some of these. Do a few little dots here, a few little dots there. Boop. Oh, that looks like a bear paw. Oh. There we go. So that incorporates a little bit of white into there. Gives you the idea that they're flowers. And let me get my eraser and we'll erase. All right, here is my eraser. So we can take this and just get rid of, get rid of the pencil lines in there very gently. Oh, look at that, they come right off. Blow that out of there. And then here is your Mother's Day card. That's still wet. You know what? I'm going to kind of turn that that way, get the colors to come in that. Oh, nice. All right. So you take this off, fold it in half, score it, and then you've got a huge card. Or you can cut these in half even and get two cards out of them. But I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you give it a try. And um, I'll put the link below for the Blick watercolor blocks that are on sale through April and um, also any of the supplies I, I used. Have a wonderful weekend and thank you for joining me.